Cool. Hello there. Uh, my name is Matthew Wright, and this is my testimony of what God and Jesus Christ has done in my life. So my story begins as a young boy growing up in a Christian home, blessed with uh, two wonderful God-loving parents and three brothers. And uh, when I was quite young as a child, I was exposed to really just parents who loved God, pursued Him, and really wanted to be devoted to the church and what um, God had called them to do. Just continuing through Sunday school and through um, being exposed to God um, and also through the parenting of my parents has really had set me on a good course for the Lord. And, but really I had to come to a decision in my own life to, to choose Jesus to make that decision of whether I want Him in my life. And I can remember a salvation or a moment of right standing with God came for, for me was when my dad actually prayed for me one night. And I remember um, just the, the, the feeling in that moment of like light entering into my heart as he, uh, I believe, sp explained the gospel to me. Um, and uh, I, I, I felt this, this, this light entering into my, my heart and into my life and really felt like from that moment there was that right standing um, with God as I had accepted what he was telling me. And, very soon after that, about 14 years old, I got baptized. That was also a powerful moment for me. It really felt like God was, um, almost felt like I was just shedding a skin um, in, in my life. And also had been filled with the Holy Spirit at a, at a church camp soon after that. And really just from that moment was set, um, just wanting to follow the Lord flat out. And um, But as much as I wanted to do so, there were many battles in my life which were hard. And I really had to almost... Um, fight and wrestle with the Lord in to to win and overcome those battles. And two of them, if I can think of in my life, were one was um, sexual temptation and pornography in my life. Um, uh, growing up um, in uh, and moving on into a high school offer, recently had been baptized, was a real struggle for me of being exposed to what the world has in, in sexual temptation and and really not knowing what to do with this at that time and um, really for many years feeling in turmoil and and really struggling in my heart of what uh, I didn't quite understand but I knew before God was wrong. And after many years of, of battling through and, and being open and, and vulnerable with godly men and women who'd helped me and trusting the world to break through really overcame that, um, which was wonderful. And, and, and years since then now it's been wonderful to be free from that. And another moment I think for me was um, the real battle was was works, was living for approval and love um, based out of works or based out of the things I did. And and for much of my life I grew up um, with parents who loved me and loved um, just supporting and encouraging me. But my view had been distorted that I, I believe had been a lie that the devil had sown into me of, of how I accepted and would receive love by the things I do. So whether that was making sports teams or whether that was um, doing well in academics or varsity, that was almost like a lens for me. And I can remember one moment when I was 23 years old and um, my final year of architectural studies, having to tell my dad that I couldn't continue with studies that I, and finish that year, I had to do another year. And I remember crying and crying and crying with my dad as I sat on top of these stairs um, on, the, on the top, very top level of this architectural building telling my dad, listen, I, I couldn't continue. I had failed. And my dad's love and grace to me in that moment was just so wonderful and really just real picture of what the, who God is to us that in our worst state, in our state of failure, he's loving and accepting. And just through, after, after I'd given my life to the Lord, and through moments in my life, to see now God has been so good, so gracious, so forgiving and loving towards me. And, um, and just some amazing moments in my life of, of seeing the goodness and faithfulness and glory of God is, and, and one, one moment of many, and has been when I was at school seeing revival in my grade 12 year, how a bunch of us really just had a hunger to see God change our schools started praying, started meeting together, started bringing musical instruments and really seeing people get saved, people getting healed, um, you know, people of different religions getting um, born again and having to house them because their families would kick them out and really just seeing amazing move of God, moving from that out of school, um, joining a local church where I'd moved to cities, really seeing uh, godly ways modeled in the way church is done and it really just opened my eyes to such a picture of God's grace, God's love, um, how amazing He is and how His love has been steadfast for me. And really just 
just a, a amazing scripture that really I think captures a lot of what God has been in my life is in Psalms 59 and it talks about how for you have been to me a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress the God who shows me steadfast love and I think when I think back on my life God has been those things a fortress a refuge and steadfast love in my life and in this world there's many things that um, grab our attention that are so temporary but God is the one answer. And beyond this world, our lives and our outstanding before God is the only thing that really matters. And I'm so grateful for God and Jesus in my life. And I know that there are many things that this world offers. There's many things it gives. But Jesus is the answer. And I'd love to encourage and just share that with you today. And um, if you feel really encouraged and want to find out more, please feel free to drop me a message or um, just get in contact with me. I'd love to chat to you. May God get all the glory. Ciao.